Eos was a lustful and beautiful goddess who found love in a number of men. One of these was a mighty and handsome man named Tithonus. However, the fate of all such pairings between immortal and mortal weighed upon Eos. So, she went to petition Zeus, father of the gods, to make him immortal. Zeus, ever jealous and capricious, granted her wish. However, as the years waned, she realised that Tithonus was growing older and weaker. She realised her mistake, for Zeus had granted her wish, but only by its wording. Tithonus was immortal, but he was not ageless. And so, as time went on, Tithonus became more and more wretched, until a point where he could no longer move at all, only lay down and babble. Some versions of the story state that Tithonus was locked away by Eos, who could no longer take the sound of his incoherency. However, as time went on, the tale took a turn of Tithonus becoming a grasshopper. Some tellings state that he withered into such a form to be released out into the world. Others state that Eos could not take his babbling, and so, unable to end his life, willingly turned him into a grasshopper and cast him from her home. One way or another, he ended up out in the wild, an insect eternally chattering, waiting until the end of time, never dying. How strange, then, that we have not heard a thing from those creatures of Olympus for so many millennia, and yet to walk outside, one can still hear the sound of grasshoppers. Perhaps it's so that when time came and stole the divinity of the gods along with the society of those that deemed them such, they missed poor, eternal Tithonus. One would assume the shadow of death does have more important things to do than check each and every bug.